hello guys so how you all are doing i hope you all will be doing great so uh, in this video i will will be discussing about uh, one topic that is the uh, means the must to know actually you must know before attempting your exam and in if you consider my opinion so nobody should go to exam without uh, having knowing this topic so this basically belongs to one of the important topics from the developmental uh, part that is the male and female genital organs from where they develop so very fast i will try to revise it for you and make my uh, make my point that uh, it is very important and you must know this huh? so you cannot omit this actually so starting with the actually we have two that is the mesonephric duct and paramesonephric duct so mesonephric duct is the main genital duct in case of male while paramesonephric duct is the main genital duct in case of female now we must know what part are developed from this mesonephric duct and paramesonephric duct one more thing just for remembering purpose mesonephric duct is also called as wolfian duct in case of male so wolfian duct so how you will remember that it is for wolfian duct so sorry for the disturbance so wolfian duct so you can consider males as wolf so that wolfian duct belongs to male that is the mesonephric duct belongs to male while the para that is the para will belongs to female but meso is for male wolfian is for males so starting with the derivatives of the mesonephric duct now in case of males also there are two things like mesonephric duct and mesonephric tubules so both are separate entity so you must uh, uh, give give your importance towards what the examiner have asked whether they have asked duct or whether they have asked tubule so the derivative of mesonephric duct is the posterior wall of prostatic urethra proximal proximal to the opening of ejaculatory duct in case of male i am telling so in case of male the main genitalia develops from the mesonephric duct that is that is the consisting of posterior wall of prostatic urethra proximal to the opening of ejaculatory duct vast difference ejaculatory duct epididymis seminal vesicles appendix of epididymis appendix of testis develops from paramesonephric duct in case of females but appendix of epididymis develops from mesonephric duct in case of male now mesodermal part of prostate also develop from it now one more important mcq one separate mcq is ureteric butt give rise to ureter pelvis calyces and collecting tubules the trigone of bladder very important mcq is asked separately is developed from the mesonephric duct in case of males now in case of female the similar type of things will develop like the posterior wall of urethra mostly it is degenerated in case of females as it is not the main genital genital duct in case of females so it is mostly degenerate de degenerated except the it forms the posterior wall of urethra and the ureter ureteric bud gave rise to ureter pelvis collecting tubules calyces trigone of bladder and the duct of apophoron that is the gartner's duct now if they ask only apophoron then it is it develops from the mesonephric tubules <coughs> apophoron and paraphron develops from mesonephric tubules while if they say duct so duct is for duct that is duct develops from mesonephric duct so mesonephric duct duct of apophoron or the gartner's duct so summarizing all all of them from the mesonephric duct or the wolfian duct so these structures develop the important ones are epididymis appendix of epididymis in case of male develops from the wolfian duct while the appendix of testis develops from also known as hydrated of morgagni develops from paramesonephric duct or the mullerian duct <coughs> now what mesonephric tubules form they forms in male ductus aberrant superior afferent ductules of testis ductus ab aberrant inferior and in female they form the apophoron and the paraphron the apophoron is the remnant of mesonephric tubule while the duct of apophoron is derived from mesonephric duct so mesonephric tubule for apophoron 
while the mesonephric duct or duct of apophron do not confuse here. Revise it again. Now, from paramesonephric duct in female, it forms the male genital duct in females. So, it, it forms the fallopian tube, uterus and upper two third of the vagina. Now, the lower two third develops from sinovaginal bulb which is derived from urogenital sinus. That is why the lower one third of the vagina is of endodermal origin while the upper two third is of mesodermal origin as it is derived from paramesonephric duct. <coughs> Clear? In males, most of the part is just de degenerated except the in males the paramesonephric duct or the mullerian duct forms appendix of testis also known as hydatid or mogagony and the prostatic utricle. So, a separate MCQ they can ask is prostatic utricle develops from. So, it will be from mullerian duct or the paramesonephric duct. We have two things mesonephric duct and mesonephric tubules while paramesonephric duct is the uh, single one. So, if I ask you some of the question, you should now be able to answer. Now, the appendix of epididymis develops from, so it develops from mesonephric duct. Appendix of testis or the hydatid or morgagony develops from, develops from paramesonephric duct present in males. Okay. Now, Trigone of bladder in both the cases develops from mesonephric duct, very important. Duct of apophoron or the Gartner duct develops from mesonephric duct or the Wolfian duct, valve males, males valve. Okay? So, you can remember this by correlating this. Now, this constitutes the very important section and you can jot it down in your notebook and revise before your exam. So, you cannot make a silly mistake. All the very best. Thank you.